Register a new customer, phase one. Thank you for using Imagine and Quick Check. In this video, you will learn how to register a new customer while understanding potential fraud. This step is done after the company has been registered. On the customer side, you will verify two aspects. Number one, asking for their identification. Imagine it Quick Check has the ability to verify different elements of the customer's ID. For example, in some states, you can swipe the ID through your Excella STX check reader from left to right after clicking on Get Info from ID Stripe. In other states, you can simply enter the ID number in the license number field. Click on Cross Verify ID, enter date of birth, and Quick Check will retrieve information directly from the Department of Public Safety. If the customer has a foreign ID or a passport, you can enter these and select the appropriate ID type next to the state field. The Cross Verify ID verification will verify three types of information. Number one, is the ID number in the system possibly registered under another name? Number two, is the person with this ID number going from store to store cashing checks? And number three, has the person with this ID number cashed a check in the last three days? Why are they cashing another check in such a short period of time? Our understanding is no one will get paid more than once in a period of three days. Let's remember that Imagine It Quick Check has the ability to verify information from our network with more than 1.5 million companies and customers registered. Now, let's move on to step number two, obtaining the customer's phone number and verifying ownership. It's time to ask them once again another simple question. Can I have your phone number? Imagine it Quick Check has the ability to verify major cell phone carriers and all landline numbers. We retrieve information from different databases. So when entering the phone number, Quick Check is able to tell you the name of the person associated with this number. Once verified, let's stop and think. Does the name pulled up match the name of your customer? If not, let's ask them, what name is on your phone number account? This should be a very simple question for them to respond. And here's where you can test them and see how they react. If the information matches, you can add customer by clicking the Add Customer button. Or if you want to enter additional information and enter data such as address, date of birth, ID expiration date, email, or secondary ID number, plus much more. Once you click on Add Customer, QuickCheck will prompt you to scan the customer's ID. Simply, Place the ID on the right-hand side of the check reader with the front of the ID facing out. Next, QuickCheck will prompt you to take the picture of the customer. Hit OK, make sure the customer is in front of the camera, and click Take Picture and Save. Lastly, have the customer place the right index finger on the fingerprint device and click on Take Sample. At this point, you have registered the customer and you are viewing the summary screen. From this step, you can update any information entered before and review any information on the top tabs. If you have decided not to take the check because you spotted a fraudster, you can block the customer from this step and give them a check back telling them the system has declined the check and therefore you cannot cash it. At this point, the fraudster will understand you've caught them and you have registered and collected as much information as possible from the fraudster on the other hand, if you have decided to cash the check, simply click on Cash Check for this customer. Prior to entering the amount, QuickCheck will do one more verification. And this is done automatically for you. Imagine a QuickCheck will connect with the government's database to check if the customer or company are in the SDN list and are potentially forbidden from cashing a check and doing other MSV activities. Regardless of its outcome, QuickCheck will store a confirmation number. At this point, you can enter the amount to the decimal and hit enter once. This will calculate the amount automatically based on the preset commission rate. Return the amount to the customer listed in red at the bottom and hit complete transaction to finish. Now, you can move on to scenario number two, how to process a check for an existing company and existing customer. 